Hey guys, it's Justin at uh, Survivor Review. Today I have a trailer review of the first trailer for Godzilla. The new American remake of the classic monster. And this movie has been on my radar for since it, pretty much since it started. Because one, I'm a diehard Godzilla fan. Love the characters. I love the movies. They're awesome. And two, uh, I've been re I read up on the movie a lot and it just feels like the filmmakers are putting an effort into, they're really putting effort into making this a true Godzilla movie and recreate, paying respect to the character, which is great because the last time they remade Godzilla, they didn't give a crap. So, uh, this one, hopefully, it will actually be a Godzilla movie. So, to start off, the trailer starts so brilliantly with the soldiers doing a halo jump down to the city, uh, either trying to get to Godzilla, or it's not fully explained, but that scene is so friggin' amazing. The way it's so well done and so engaging, just, uh, they have the point of view shot from the soldier's goggles, and you see, like, it's all, like, all you see is smoke, and you see lightning, and illuminates Godzilla's body. It just looks so awesome. That opening shot, I can't wait to see that scene in the actual movie on the big screen. I feel that's going to be a highlight, definitely in the movie. And then, after that, it's just a lot of shots of mayhem, of people running, of a subway train getting attacked, and just a lot of those quick shots like that. And then the final shot is a great shot, panning up to Godzilla, who's all covered in smoke. He's, all you see is a silhouette, and then when he gets to the top, he roars, boom, cut to the title. Awesome trailer. Now, Godzilla does not appear at really much at all in the show. You don't see a full-on view of Godzilla. And I know a lot of people were complaining about that, but it's a teaser trailer. What are you expecting? You're not expecting them to give everything away. They're going to build this up. So, it's I, I wasn't disappointed in that fact. Since all I wanted, I just wanted to see footage from the movie and see what it was going to look like. And it looked awesome. The cast in this movie is really good. It includes... um. Aaron Taylor Johnson, who played Kick-Ass in Kick-Ass, and Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad, you all know Brian Cranston. So, the cast seems good, it seems legit, doesn't, you know. The tone of the trailer is a very bleak, dark, and serious tone, and if that's actually the tone of the movie, it'll be great. I feel it's the perfect tone, at least to do like a modern reimagining, and it's, it works. If the movie can actually recreate that tone from the trailer, I feel we're good. Some people may say that that might not be good since Godzilla is a, uh, you know, really cheesy sci-fi character. Well, watch the original Godzilla from 1954. It's a very serious movie. It's not... The only thing that makes it really cheesy is the fact that some of the effects are outdated by today's standards. But for the most part, that's a really serious film. It's not a goofy, over-the-top movie, and... That's pretty much what they're going for in this version, and I love that. I want to see a more serious take on this. And just something... It looks like it's going to be more realistic. Like, what if there really was a giant monster outside stomping on the ground? You know, that just seems really cool. It just seems really interesting. The imagery in the movie, in the trailer is really good. The scenes look really well shot. The director, I can't think of his name right now. He's a newcomer, so... He's not really established. I have faith in him from this trailer. So I think, I hope this is going to be a really good movie. This is probably, especially from this trailer, it's probably my second most hyped movie of next year under X-Men Days of Future Past. That's still my number one. But this one definitely, this trailer definitely is going to get some fans in there. If people had any like doubts about this movie, I feel this trailer kind of convinced them. But I am excited for an eventual second show where we get to see more of Godzilla. And the, and the fact that in this movie, Godzilla gets to fight another monster. That's awesome. You know, it's not just Godzilla running around the city. Cause that's, that's been done and it's, every time they do that, it gets a little less interesting. If it's just Godzilla stomping the city. So this seems going to be more fun, more interesting with another monster. They haven't said anything on who the monster is. Uh, I think it's going to be an original monster. I don't know for sure on that. But we'll have to see as time will tell. So yeah, trailer one for Godzilla I, 2014. I, I call it Godzilla 2014. 
uh, coming out the 60th anniversary of Godzilla. Because the first one came out in 1954. So that's a really cool anniversary treat, if, if it's done right. But from what it looks like, this trailer looks like it's going to deliver. I hope it does. So I'd like to hear what fellow Godzilla fans have to say about this trailer, especially if they would really like if they like this new take, this new version of it, which looks at least like it's going to stay true to Godzilla. I wonder what, I'm wondering what you guys think about that, because I know I am hyped, from, especially from this trailer, and it just it looks awesome. <laughs> that's all I can really say. And that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later.